Valens. Yeah, and uh, we were talking about, uh, as a collective here, how Valens, as a gold laner, may have a, uh, let's say, lacking hero pool, but when it comes to knowing where he needs to be, shot calling and orchestrating what the team is supposed to do, he's the one. But here it's Miko this time around, who has himself have some uh, coaching experience. I'm wondering, man, this, this happened right before our eyes. I, I couldn't believe it, honestly, when we learned that Miko was coming in and originally as a stand-in, but now here he is in the flesh. He's actually mere inches away from the Kage Sasa. <laughs> and he's going to be playing a little bit more flexible on this show, right? So he's really got to make sure. He's making the plays, he's making the moves, and he's making the calls. The question is, who's really going to be IGLing? We were talking about this earlier. We think that it's going to be Sasa, but who knows, Miko might just take the reins. I think that they have to go 50-50. Given that he is playing his signature show, there's a lot that Team SMG have to do to break the flow of EVOS icon here. Given that they are, oh lord, it's a, it's a jungle grok. Of course, uh, I, I honestly believe that even if, if, if this wasn't the jungle grok, if maybe it was a joy jungle, maybe we would have seen uh, not as much of a rotation or a cut through, but this just ramps it up, man. Yeah, it really does. And you know, both sides even opting to go for the double EXP lane start just to make sure that their mid laners feel pretty good about it. And more importantly, so Arla now playing as a roamer, gonna be sticking on pretty hard to Miko this entire time. Yep, again, and just building on the fact that Evo's Icon chooses their fights. And this is something that Team SNG Malaysia have to break through. Wow, 2v1! Ivan, formerly known as Van Strong. I've been following this young man for a couple of years now. He won that Little Wonder battle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, technically he had no place to, but now Miko, he might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh. Has to use that flicker to get on out of there. Already used his third charge, G Kundo. Backs away, no engagement so far. But more importantly, at the very least, we haven't seen an early first blood from either one of these teams. Yeah, but I think given what happened in the past 10, 15 seconds, Evo's Icon are winning, man. They are just asserting dominance, winning these little battles. Finds an engage up top. Yep, Ivan. He's going to be slowed down for a little bit. Oh! Subway Sasa unfortunately gets hit by the wall charge, and now he's stuck into a place. Oh. Not worth it for him to flicker. He knows he's down. Ooh, appraisers around nearly taking out Ivan, but at the end of the day, he still manages to get out. Big boy rotation for members of the White Tigers sent up to send a message. Team SMG, MY rocked there. Definitely not how you want to start. This is your gold laner. This is Sasa. This is your golden egg, uh, your golden chicken that you're taking care of. You don't want to give early kills there, but wait. Oh, four members here at the turtle. Yep, it's going to be Flora. Veldora, he's doing a good job just buying enough time. Go for the electrifying beast straight away as he times it well for the power of nature. But now we see Mirko, he's already kicking him hard. The way the dragon wild charge from Sutsujin, able to slow them down. Miko, he manages to get up, but it's still going to be Sutsujin who falls. Stormy at 1 HP, gets taken out by Ivan. A quick cleanup of the Vengeance. And now the rest of Team SMG scrambling around a two-for-one trade in favor of Evos Icon. Again, the re-engage potential, despite the amazing move by Lord Smooth. He tried to save the situation, but it was just too much. Stormy had a great RWM too, but Evos Icon knew exactly how to weave through the situation. And I didn't even notice Ivan came in with a late engage. Yeah. Uh, I could have sworn he was just going to say, you know what, you guys are dead. <laughs> you, you guys are dead. My hands are off of this. I don't need more than this. And the best part about all of it is the fact that they can do this in many different orders. It doesn't necessarily have Ivan who has to come in late. It could be Sutsujin or arguably even Veldora as well. He still has his vengeance. He's still a threat to the gold lane. And, and I think it's this weird tempo that EVOS has across all of their lanes and even the jungle that's making Team SMG give over these smaller camps so that they can catch up because again in the flash in all puns intended. <laughs> I heard it wasn't a very good movie. Uh, <laughs> in, in the last minute of plays, Evos Icon have gotten a solid 1k gold lead across the map. And what's that that's done is Team SMG said, all right, Sasa, take a small cap up top. Smooth, take a gold crab down bottom. I don't need it, says Subway. But really, do they not? Because I think that's, again, the small wins, the inches that Evos Icon are building up to lead into this mid-game power spike. I mean, that's how you're going to make an opponent bleed, right? It, whether you're taking resources for a particular role. Ooh, Smooth. Actually getting some good damage onto Veldorim, actually forcing him to use his vengeance. That's already, see, these, this is what I'm talking about, the trade of resources. At the very least, Veldora doesn't have to ask his general, 
Could I please have a side camp, sir? That's right, and then that's what makes this all the more a compromised early game for Team SMG MY. But the thing is, at least they are putting up a fight, that they're answering the ways that they can. Now Sutujin and Kreit starting up the turtle at half healthier, less than. Valdora, RWM. Yep, RWM is looking really good. Valdora ends up going down. No vengeance, can't do anything about it. It's smooth already. With the Raging Slash, should be able to take out crit. But able to sidestep it just in time. Ivan, a little late to the party, but still, he has his final slash. At the end of the day, it is Evos Icon who secures the turtle. That's right, but at the cost of Valdora. So right now, maybe a wash, a small victory for Team SMG, given that they've shrunk the gold lead now to just about 800, 900, and this allows for Smooth and Sasa to breathe a little more. This is the first time I've actually seen them cross the river. Yeah, no, I, I think even better, it's the first, at least there's a potential out for Team SMG MY. If Evos Icons keeps on putting pressure on that stop side, like how we see Miko having to just stick around this side of the bush, and even Subway's getting pressured by both Sutsujin as well as crit, it could be really tough. Now, the kick on oh. Sutsujin is looking good. Power of Nature isn't able to get him out, but the Wild Charge will. What? Walks back into Namiru's Passion, and now even Smooth coming in with Racing Slash. Straight away, Sutsujin finally falls down. I've been trying to slow down the entire backline of Smooth. It ends up losing his life. Electrifying Beats coming out from Veldora. Looking to try and get Miko oh. down. Third energy could no vengeance is out. He walks away with one HP and even Stormy. Whoa. Oh, crit. He flickers the complete opposite direction, even dropping down the RWM. That might have been a blunder. It could have been too much of an outplay of his own right. Now Ivan is going to get hit. You could know, oh, straight into the way of the dragon. Miko, the fight was so long, he got it back up. Special delivery from Manila to Kuala Lumpur Express. Now, given the last sequence of uh, engagements, we're sitting at four and four, six minutes in, a thousand gold ahead. Evo's Icon are making the most of the scramble that they forced deep into the orange uh, side of Team SMG's jungle. One thing I can say is it's just pure geometry at this point. I think Kreit did not make a wrong play. Kreit just mm -hmm. tried his best uh, to repair uh, a somewhat losing situation. And I think the call was just keep them busy anyways. If you win, if you take a kill, sure. You're already compromising the rest of their map because Duma was doing work. No, nope, Bandit's Rage already up. Wild Charge knocking up all four. Setting up a perfect attack for Vildora to jump into the back line with this oh. electrifying beats. Double kill already. Miko forced the flicker out here at Praiser's oh. Wrath. Able to secure one, at least one, with Lapu taking the second of his own with the Bravest Fighter. Doma and Crit. Doing a good job holding back. Sutsujin is able to basically walk around the jungle for free now. Oh, the punish. Uh, Team SMG, again, are not playing around. They know that they have the firepower, given at least the 2k gold lead. That's a, this is what we call a small 2k gold lead. We've seen much larger 2k gold leads. And the fact that Sasa here is at least uh, presenting some damage. He has a Fury Hammer. He has a Blade of Despair. Attack speed boots, he can punish with, uh, I'd say, Anibiru's passion, well placed. Looking at Evos, though, looking at Duma, we're just waiting for him to actually find the nice engage. He has the Golden Staff, he has the Corrosion Sight, and now Subway's in trouble. Yep, Subway, I don't think he's going to be able to make it out of this. He tries to go out. He's already got the top for the extra stats. Veldora looks for him, sees Sasa only, but they've got the objective that they were looking for. Evos Icon now with a 2.5k lead, about to convert it right after the last turtle of the game. And I think that what uh, exacerbates the situation, right? They're down 2K, approaching 2.5, 3K. It's slowly growing. And again, Team SMG, it's not like Sasa can't fire back. It's just the positioning. There's not enough appeal between Subway, Smooth, and Miko. Because again, Miko's busy going into the back line looking for that perfect kick. And Evos is happy to oblige. And now here's one. Oh, he finds it perfect. Should pull into the way of the dragon. Ivan gets punished as he ducks right under the final slash. A beautiful play. Unfortunately, Subway still is dead. And I mean, we're looking at, we're not just talking about the 3K goalie. Like, gold is important but the EXP, like Subway can barely breathe, barely get into these pits. Evo's Icon are really hurting him economically. Yeah, Subway's down 2k and now Sutsujin gonna commit Grand Theft Purple. All of these resources. Isn't this what the story was since minute one, minute two? All of these little inches will slowly build up to I'd hate to break between Imperial and Metric, but, you know, a foot and then eventually a, a mile, a meter, uh, or a thousand kilometers, right? Because again, now we're slowly feeling Team SMG are slowly getting outgunned. You see how deep uh, Duma can go or how much he can just plant himself right in front of even Stormy. Like, if Stormy puts up the RWM, it's not an automatic, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're thinking, maybe I can 
outgun the RWM. He has to swipe a certain direction. If I can lock him down, then yes, if anything, it's the XP lane. It's the reason why Valdor has to keep diving and only the reason why Smooth is slightly ahead. That's the one way Team SMG can actually leverage an advantage. Yep, I mean, Valdora, he's recovered greatly from that initial, uh, from the initial rotation by the turtle fight. This, I think it was the first one uh, coming in from Smooth, punishing him by taking away his vengeance and then later on dying when it comes into that big inclusive fight. We finally see Malefic Pro being purchased by Sasa, so at least he has the damage like you've mentioned. 3k gold lead as we were talking about, but the worst part about everything is the fact that the big playmaker has to be smooth. Unfortunately, like Miko, he is consistently finding good kicks, but if there is no damage to follow it up, or at the very least somebody to attack the pack line, I think Evo's Icon are gonna run away with this game. And I think it's that juxtaposition, it's that mm -hmm. dichotomy of Team SMG's approach, right? Yep. We wanna plant dudes in front so Sasa can just blast away, but just the same, we can pick off. So what is it? And it's Evo's Icon taking advantage of that. It's like, all right, they're still thinking about it. They haven't found the perfect angle. And it's Ivan, oh, starting it up. Yep, they find Subway. He's instantly going to go down, Veldora completely. Completely shreds and way of the dragon already be used to disengage smooth. He's thinking about it. He wants it. Uh -oh. Renders apathy blocked by Susu Jinkrit. Going into that backline instantly as he steals away the bravest fighter. And now Team SMG full escape here. Already losing two of their big battle spells and also losing Subway in the process. Alright. I know that the final slash was committed, but was Subway maybe thinking of something oh, else? Oh, he tries, but the final slash committed and finds the kill with the help of Veldora jumping to the back. Return fire for the RWM. Finding two in Veldora and Ivan. Two initiators, two deaths. Team SMG looking to clap back. Underneath the turret? Yeah. 3k, 4k gold, not gonna do you much. There is still a level 1 lord, an elemental lord, marching down through bottom, and that's what gives Team SMG here uh, roughly 30 to 70% win rate. You can grow this up to maybe 40, 50, if you can protect your inhibitors. You're, you're definitely gonna lose this top lane tier too soon, especially if you don't watch out for the waves. The waves have been enhanced for EVOS Icon. As for bottom, I, I like their chances. This is a pretty good high ground defense lineup, and Oh no, yep, Sutsujin with the, yeah. the delay. This is this is this is Evo's icon calling the shots. Yeah, I mean they're guaranteed gonna lose that top uh, that top side. RWM being traded on both sides. Subway's getting a little smooth, unfortunately, unable to like, spell back enough. Whoa. Has to use the rage slash to get on out of there. But the final slash coming in back from Evo's icons to turn it around. Doma is already gone. They lose a majority of their damage, but three members of Team SMG have already lost their life. Inhibitors still standing though. But I think it's worth it. I'd say for that three for one and a little bit of a push, that's permanent damage. I don't think turrets heal, man. Last time I checked the patch, turrets don't heal, <laughs> right? So you can just force it. And again, the waves are going to constantly crash through. The waves, if you don't watch them, if Team SMG don't send anybody there, are constantly going to keep going. And now Subway has to deal with this. Again. Yep. They eventually got what they want. Wait, hold on, hold on. They're pulling it back. Miko finding the kick on towards Valentina's oh. side. Kredi in trouble as he dies to the RWM, but still the kill falls into the hands of their boy. Wow, okay, two kills? Now that's a bit much. Coming in from Miko. He hasn't died just yet, and he's looking sharper than ever on Team SMG. They do, however, lose an inhibitor target on the bottom side of the map, and Evo's Icon, despite everything, 12 to 12 is the kill score, 3k gold lead, 12 minutes into the game. Homie has yet to die, by the way. 209. What a debut so far. He needs to do one more oh. thing and win, Sutsujin! He's doing it again! Bennett's Rage is gonna connect, but Sutsujin is more is tanky enough. He has the items at the very least to deal with it. Sasa, on the other hand, does not. Not to mention he's about an inch away from a wall at any time. So Earth and Force is gonna do work, but no, they're not done with him! Yep, this is the second time. Sutsujin can't miss this one. Sasa hits his target. Sutsujin down. Oh, the Kage finds a kill. 3-4-3 three, three here. So far, Sasa has uh, helped the rest of the team and himself, but that doesn't change the fact that he's still 2k down. That hasn't really changed much, especially given that Duma died once, and that's really just because they were sour. They were forcing that push down bottom. Now here's Team SMG back on the board with a pull. Four to five members in. Yep, Veldora, he's trying to make a shot. Sasa, he does some damage. Ooh, tactically rolls away. Vengeance already pops. Move force the flicker away as he attacks the back line. Do they steal it? They do! Team SMG secure the Lord. Subway ends up losing his life. Render's Apathy comes on now. Veldora, he's waiting for his cooldowns, but I don't think it's worth Whoa. it. Grit, Shadow dashes twice. Doesn't connect onto anybody. No flickers, no battles spells everybody maximizing their resources except for Ivan he's cool 
He's cool. He's, he's always been cool. If anything, he's been an anchor throughout the early, mid, to now approaching the late game. He has set up a lot of what's making EVOS Icon lineup work here. And looking at the damage leaderboard, yeah, Kryt, he's using his flicker to maximum advantage. Maybe of all the flickers he's done, only one of them have been defensive flickers. He's always been on the uh, front foot here, on the Vanguard, as well as Valdora. So now what this does is, especially with this Luminous Lord coming in from Team SMG, is you can expect them to have to slowly turn red more. But, yeah, not like this. Not if Team SMG haven't taken care of their waves. So maybe this is where... Also, here's a theory. Uh -huh. Maybe because of the Miko jump in, and they changed it up with Valens, maybe communications aren't at 100%. Maybe it's like 70%, 80%, which is why Subway has died more often than he shouldn't have. I mean, that's fair. I, I think that's fair, but it's also a testament to Evo Cyclone just hard targeting him. Like, so many times you see Ivan just using that final slash just to displace your boy Subway here. I mean, he's trying to eat fresh, but man, he can't help that giant hitbox he's got. It's huge. And again, you can use it to your advantage. And I think that's what allowed Team SMG to score that Luminous Lord. If it was any other jungler, say maybe a Martis, right? Say maybe a Lancelot, it wouldn't have the same effect. A Lancelot that keeps dying, a Martis that keeps dying, isn't as useful as a beat-up Fredrin. Yep. So yep. again, you, you work with the pros and cons here, man. Even the negatives, because they make for better pictures. Aubrey Graham. Now, about 16 minutes in, 14-3. Gideon, I'd say we have a game. This is a this is this is a game. Yeah, right? Because Team SMG have really utilized the fact that their high ground defense is good enough to kind of just keep forcing out these ways. The fact that even though Evos Icon were never able to break even to the four or five K gold deficit against Team SMG is a testament to show that Team SMG are playing it as slow as possible. Yep, and there's situational awareness. Mm -hmm. Team SMG, despite this being a new lineup, uh, so to say. They know how to use their, their strengths. And again, watch Miko. 16 minutes in, we're approaching Evolved Lord territory. Hasn't died yet, so he's done well to protect himself. So not only is he trying to stitch in this new lineup to work against a very strong team like Evo's Icon, but he's also flourishing in that role. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to lose. Renna's after the seal? No, doesn't connect. I think Subway got it. Yep, Subway. Off of a tick, habit. I'm Off guessing. <laughs> he just walks up. Hello. Gets it anyways. Um... Yeah, no retribution used as well. All nope. right. Yeah, so exactly, right? So it is a tick. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have messed with Sasa and said, gotcha. It'd be really funny. Right? <laughs> I imagine the side eye, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be too funny. I can imagine it. One to one. Sasa would not be happy if that was the case. Wouldn't allow it. Wouldn't allow it for sure. We're seeing the Athena shield being bought by Stormy this time around. I think he recognizes that he's dying to crit a little too often, as well as the, the fact that Veldora keeps on jumping for him if he doesn't find Sasa. Yep, and uh, again, not only is it Stormy who's slowly building up, or at least already built up his full arsenal, even Sasa, right? Despite uh, the rocky mid to late ramp up, he has always been uh, threatened throughout this game. He just needs to finish uh, that Rose Gold Meteor, and then Bob's your uncle. He can actually fight. He also has that Wind of Nature. So even if Duma does find him, it's a fair fight, it's a 50-50. Here we go, once again, Subway losing his immortality. Final Slash is already down. Miko is looking for an opportunity as Wolf has already jumped into the middle of the fight, but the back line is already getting attacked, forced oh. away by Veldora. He's getting locked down, but it doesn't matter. Crit steals the Bravest Fighter, forcing use the Raging Slash early. Oh. Stormy with the Blast. Void Blast is able to secure it. Doma put a 10% HP, but unable to close this out. A two-for-one trade in favor of Evos Icons, but forcing at least two recalls from Evos' side. It's a win for EVOS Icon, but only maybe by an inch or two. This was a great approach to a team fight that Team SMG knew that they were losing to begin with, but they stood their ground. And that's step one. It's just EVOS Icon, their lineup is built to really break through the box that SMG wants to set up. And they're going to lose this Lord, and at least they didn't lose more members. Unless... Oh no, Miko! Well, they've already got the kick. I mean, the Vengeance is keeping Veldora alive as long as possible. Sasa, one more tick was going to take him out. He ends up dying regardless. Miko gets his immortality pop. Sasa is still trapped in the corner. Sasa! But the rest of the team has covered for him. Body blocked, in a matter of fact. Willing to sacrifice the wave down on that bottom side to find Susujin and as well as Ivan. They go back down to clearing and clean it up for the crystal and now have to deal with the Luminous Lord walking down to their base. Because of Sasa's unshakable force, if that was me playing that 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 Beatrix there, I would have just put my phone down. I know I'm dead, right? The, the way that they set up that corner for him, 
I could have sworn he just knew uh, what to do. And I think that there's a lot of work coming in from the Haas Claws, of course. Yep. The Haas Claws. And they got a two for none there. And they're going to be able to clear this Lord easy, all right? He's not going to crash through. He's going to actually be able to, to help Team SMG manage the rest of the map. And we're still stuck at that 2K gold lead, exactly. which is great for Team SMG because they can reset again and learn from those last two lost engagements. Yeah, and now they're coming to a point where they actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Evo Icon, no problem, right? 16 to 16 with a, goal, with a gold deficit that barely even matters at this point. I think that Team SMG MY are in a really good spot. If we pull up the items, we're trying to look for anything out of the ordinary because remember, at this point, the only thing that matters, po having enough gold for potions and item switches like Winter or even looking for another immortality. Uh, what is odd is I do think we've come to the point where Ivan has started juggling. And that's how well you can see Evo's icon going and how much Team SMG are fighting to stay in it. Because again, that's a roaming Arlot. The fact that he's already started juggling and switching between whatever those pair of pants were prior just shows that, all right, we have to win by an inch and then eventually go from there. And so far, maps looking blue. Evos Icon looking to penetrate from either mid or top. Big wave being cleared out here by Team SMG. Yeah, but I mean, it's about housekeeping at this point. Team SMG, it's not like they really need the gold at the end of the day. Everybody is max level. Everybody is pretty much full items. And maybe not for Miko, but he's catching up pretty quick. Considering everything that's all said and done, right? The only resources left are going to be the buffs, and Evos Icon have full control over this side of the map. Yep, Team SMG would be best for them to stay inside their base. Maybe find a window where Evos Icon actually just lets go of a wave, but looks like it's not going to happen because I think there is room for Team SMG to contest here, even if all the buffs are being taken away, even if all of these camps are being taken away. Because again, you mentioned gold don't matter as much anymore. EXP. Forget about it. We're all at level 15. Exactly. So with that being said, this Lord coming in at 15, this is an evolved Lord. It has the passive, so all the more fights are going to matter. Yeah, you can, wow. You can see how Evo's Icon is posturing here, right? They're ready to respond. If somebody shows up on that top side, we're all moving as one to make that happen. But we, they need to posture for this Luminous Lord. Team SMG, they clear up that top side and now making the, make their way down bottom. If Eldora doesn't clear that top wave, it's going to slow push. And that's not exactly the best for them. He's going to walk back. Good choice. Good yep. choice, my son. Yep. He's going to try at least for that to get an advantage, have that long lane win, threaten, and not even a slow push, he's going all the way, mm -hmm. and then make Team SMG answer back. That's why they have Sasa clear up that wave up top. Not exactly showing himself yet, because I think Evo's Icon knows that they now have the advantage. Look, all five men closer to the pit. Yep, yep, they're posturing themselves very well, but the, it's always that problem of, oh, I don't have an inhibitor turret. Don't worry about it. We're going to send Doma down bot side. It's going to consistently push Team SMG must respond. It's a little unlucky that the Lord spawned on the bottom side compared to the top because it would be so much better yep. for Evo Psycon if it was on the top side of the map. Yep. If the long lane was the one that's already penetrated anyways, mm -hmm. that's a lethal Lord dance that Evo Psycon can posture up for. Look at Kryte. Watch him as Sutsu Jin goes for the pull. That's all five members uh, within dashing uh, range here. The distance is very small. Evo Psycon again playing with uh, the inches that they have ahead. Stormy spots Valdora, but Oh, wow, the core heroes from Evo's Icon are hidden. And for Team SMG, it, it's Miko and Sasa. So again, a lethal kick can really do him in. Yeah, it's crazy how Team SMG is held out for this long, and they've conditioned Evo's Icon. Yeah, try to force, force a fight one more time. We've done it multiple times over these past 22 minutes, and each time we're able to equalize the score. So I Whoa. dare you, try and force. The conceal play is already out in Tsutsujin. They recognize that he's all by himself, but the flank play coming in from Evo's Icon's three members looking for Sasa in that back line. Sees only two, smooth and stormy, ready to make it work. The final slash. Buys a little bit of time as somebody comes back up to life. However, he's got nothing left. Oh. And Doma coming in extra late to crush the entire scene. Team SMG start crumbling apart. Doma finding his 1v1s. And that's going to be an unstoppable joy. Veldora absolutely crushing this game. Cry all by himself with Smooth and Stormy. At the same time, trying to deal with it for as long as possible. Raging Slash. Oh, actually doesn't connect. But they still find the RWM just in time. Veldora finally sweeps keeps them under the rug. And now it's just the Lord's move standing. The one last member of Team SMG here to watch. Duma and the rest of Evo's Icon barrel away at their base. Evo's Icon takes game one. Woo, that was a pretty sharp game coming up from Evo's Icon. That early game especially was devastating, but I think, you know, Reptar was right. 
a lot of teams really focusing down for their EXP laners. And I mean, it's not the traditional Arlet that we were expecting, but still, that joy came out huge. And I think it's that spice, it's that adjustment, the variety coming in from EVOS Icon that allowed for them to leverage that XP lane advantage, right? The fact that you're not thinking of an Arlet coming in through the back line to stop.